And just as the lower troposphere anomaly was resolved, another argument arose, the 800-year carbon dioxide lag time. At the Vostok station in Antarctica, an ice core was drilled looking back 420,000 years in time. You can see an explanation of how this works in my video, The Ice Age. Climatologists were able to measure both the temperature and the carbon dioxide content of the atmosphere. In his film An Inconvenient Truth, Al Gore used a graph like this to show a correlation between carbon dioxide levels and increased temperatures. But he obscured the fact that the carbon dioxide increases lag the temperature increases by 800 years. If carbon dioxide is supposed to cause global warming, as Gore claims, the lag time would suggest it's the other way round. Well, yes and yes. Let's look at the science, not the hype. In my video, The Ice Age, I said there was a trigger that set off a vicious circle of events, each tipping the Earth into a cooling or a warming phase. In scientific terms, the vicious circle is called positive feedback, and it's best explained by looking at some weights on a balanced plank. If the weights are equidistant from the pivot point, the plank is in balance. A slight offset will tilt the plank, but it won't upset the balance. But let's say one of the weights is round and is moved half an inch. This causes the plank to tilt slightly. But the tilt causes the weight to roll a bit, and the shift in position causes the plank to tilt a bit more, until soon there's a runaway event and the plank comes crashing to the ground. We know that similar positive feedback happened during the ice ages. Each cooling and warming phase is amplified, so that a tiny bit of cooling ends up freezing half the planet, and a tiny bit of warming ends up thawing it out again. But each time, something had to act as that initial trigger. Something had to nudge the round weight just a fraction. A strong contender has always been regular cyclical deviation in the Earth's position or orbit, changing the amount of sunlight the Earth received. Whatever it was, in the depths of the Ice Age, this change melted a tiny part of the ice sheet and released carbon gases from the soil and from the warmer oceans. The carbon gases that were released trapped more long-wave radiation and warmed the planet a bit more, and that released more carbon gases, and so on. Climate change proponents have never suggested that a carbon dioxide increase was the trigger for past warming, only that the trigger released carbon gases, which set off this vicious circle of heating. So the lag time shown in the Vostok ice core isn't disputed, and the reasons for it are part of the global warming model. But without a trigger, this positive feedback wouldn't even begin. So if the trigger was a cyclical variation in the Earth's position, then we don't have anything to worry about, right? Because as we saw in the video The Ice Age, the Earth's orbit will remain steady for another 16,000 years. The problem is, anything that causes a tiny increase in temperature can trigger this vicious circle.